Hey, Dr. Radcliffe here. We're going to be talking about ultrasound. Ultrasound uses sound waves to penetrate tissue, causing vibration. Therefore, it is a deep heating modality, and also it produces uh, what's called cavitation or an expansion and contraction of tissue, and can speed tissue healing. So we would use it for if we wanted a deep heat application. Um, and a tissue healing application. The first thing we want to decide in ultrasound therapy is, is it safe to do on the patient or not? We use the acronym FIM to decide that. P for pregnancy, H for hemorrhaging, so if they have bleeding disorders or something like that, or they're bleeding from the site, we don't do that. I would be infection, like a uh, cellulitis or other infection. M would be malignancies, cancer, and we put another M on there for ultrasound, and that is if there's metal, we don't want to do ultrasound directly over top of a metal object. Why? Because it would heat the metal and it would heat from the inside out, possibly causing a burn for the patient. So the first thing we want to decide when we're treating a patient is what, uh, what frequency we would like to use. Now, uh, why don't we zoom in on this machine here. We have the choice of a 1 megahertz frequency and a 3 megahertz frequency. 1 megahertz frequencies is more commonly used um, than 3 megahertz. 1 megahertz frequencies typically travel about an inch and a half down into muscle and about six inches down into fat. Three megahertz will typically penetrate about a third the distance of a one megahertz frequency. So how this works practically is most things in the office are typically about one megahertz. If you have a thin area like a collateral ligament of the knee, that's a very thin area, or a wrist, that's a very thin area, you probably switch to a three megahertz frequency. Okay, so once we've decided upon frequency, if it's a big area, one megahertz, if it's a small, thin area, a depth of penetration is small, then it would be three megahertz. All right, let's talk about duty cycle. We use a duty cycle. Uh, the question that we have to answer with the duty cycle is how, um, when did the injury occur? If the injury just occurred, we call that acute. Our office defines acute as under 14 days. So if somebody just hurt themselves yesterday, it would be an acute setting. Um, tissue is much more receptive to ultrasound therapy in an acute stage, so we would put the duty cycle on between 10 and 20 percent. If the person has had the problem for between 14 days and 6 weeks, we call that subacute, we can move the duty cycle up to 50 percent. And if the patient has had it for over 6 weeks, uh, we can use the constant setting, and that's 100 percent of the time it's on. That's the duty cycle. Okay, now we also want to talk about intensity. Intensity is variable. For example, if the, if the tissue we're trying to treat is very deep, we have to adjust the intensity to reach the treatment, the target treatment site. So let's uh, pan up to here. And I like to explain this using an example. So let's say we have a, an acute, meaning just happened, sprain in the lateral collateral ligament of the knee. So that's a very thin tissue. We're going to decide to not use one megahertz. We're going to use a three megahertz uh, frequency. The next thing we need to determine is the, um, the tissue state. It, we, we, we decided it just happened, so it's under 14 days. It's acute. It's a really small body part. So we're going to start the intensity roughly about between 0.1 and 0.3. Let's just say 0.2. Okay, so now because we decided it's a three megahertz, we need to adjust for the depth of the lesion. Well, it's if it's in the outside of the knee, that tissue is really thin. We really don't need to adjust for the depth of the lesion. So let's say we decided on a 0.2 intensity. So we'd come here to 0.2. At the most, we'd want to put it up to 0.24 or 0.28. Okay. So that would be how we would decide what the intensity would be for an acute lateral collateral sprain of the knee. Now, let's take a different example. Let's say somebody has a torn hamstring um, that's healed but is about three months old and they're still having some pain there. Well, it's a big body part um, and it's thick, so we're going to use one megahertz. Okay, it is chronic. It's been over six weeks. So our intensity requirement is between 0.3 and 0.8. Well, let's say this person's a really big, bulky guy, and so we're going to decide a little bit higher on that spectrum. Let's say we're going to decide upon a 0.6.
intensity or watts per centimeter squared. On your machine, you always want to make sure the watts per centimeter squared button is pushed because that takes into consideration the surface area of the treating uh, the ultrasound head. So it's a chronic hamstring issue. We're going to decide on a starting uh, intensity of 0.6. Now we have to adjust for the depth of the lesion. So we decided it's a one megahertz problem. So we're going to go 0.6. Okay. Now um, that's a pretty deep lesion. Let's say the let's say the depth of that lesion is three centimeters. So we would take that 0.6 and raise it up to 1.05. So we're adjusting for the depth of the lesion. So that would be our adjusted one megahertz intensity setting. Okay. Now, since we decide it's chronic, let's pan down to the machine here. Chronic, we are able to use a duty setting of constant at 100%. And that's pretty much the, and this is where we adjust the, um, what did we decide on one? We decided on 0.6. We decided on 1.2. Okay, we're at the duty cycle 100%, and we decided we are going to use a one megahertz treatment frequency. And transducer is set for the transducer that we have, and then we can hit start. Treatment time will range between any, anywhere between eight and 15 minutes. And that would be it. One last thing I want to mention about ultrasound therapy. Um, we don't have heat receptors underneath the skin, so if the treatment is too high, patients may develop some warmth, um, and if they start complaining, hey, it's feeling a little warm, um, I would want you to switch, just go ahead and lower the intensity and maybe switch the duty cycle immediately down to at least 50% or 20%. All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Dr. Radcliffe, and again, this is a common physical therapy treatment that we use in chiropractic offices, uh, PT offices, and sports medicine clinics. Thanks.